In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a course backup and restore it using those features within eClass. First, navigate to your course and click on the blue and white gear icon, Course Management, and select Backup so we can create a backup file. A backup file can be used within eClass to backup your course with no other user data or to use it in a sandbox to wipe and restore content to test with for future semesters. Alternatively, it may use, be used in other LMS Moodle systems or compatible LMS systems that are compatible with Moodle. In this first window, you will notice some items are grayed out to you and some are already defaulted to be checked off. If you know you want to bring all the contents of your course into a backup file and save it, you can jump to final step without manipulating any of the checkboxes. This will take its time for about 10-20 seconds and go to 100%. It may take longer if you have a larger course. This message will appear when your file is ready. Selecting Continue will bring you to the Restore Course menu and you may download this file to your computer. This is a complete backup of your course material with no student information in it. To create a more specific one, we will return to the backup menu and leave these options as they are for now, but if you know you do not need any filters or blocks, you may uncheck them before going to the next menu. Now we'll click Next at the bottom, and the next menu provides you with an entire list of your course resources and activities. You may uncheck a section to leave that out of the backup. However, seeing that these are still checked off, they will not still go into the backup as the topic has not been allowed to go in the backup. If you do want to bring one of the items or any number of the items, the topic or week or section has to be checked in order to do so. You can also check that you do not need books or you need all books, same for assignments and other items from this hide topic options or show type, type options. This toggles a menu where you're able to select none for say external tools which are relatively specific to our LMS. You may also select all to select all items if you have unchecked something and you're not sure where it was, or none. Using none allows you to be very specific and take one or more or very specific items from a course by checking off the topic or week or multiple weeks and taking only the selected items you wish to use. For this example, I will select all and uncheck a few items as we go. Scrolling to the bottom, you can click next to see one of the final menus. You may change the course title or backup file name as long as you keep the .mbz at the end. You will see this list as we saw it on our first menu. And any item with the green check mark are items that are going to be coming over in your course backup file. Notice the red ones will not be coming into the backup file. And also on the right, no user data will be going as well. Scrolling to the bottom, we will perform the backup wait for 100% and this message will appear the backup file was successfully created when it was created successfully. Clicking continue will again allow us to download our file to our computer. To access the restore menu you can click course management and select restore from the new course you wish to add this into or to the current course if you are wiping your sandbox in order to use for another instance. You can click and drag your save file or you may choose a file from upload a file and selecting choose file to use your file picker on your computer. 
clicking the file name once on your computer selecting choose and then upload this file we'll do the same thing as clicking and dragging it once you have selected your file you will click restore you will see these common settings here that we saw earlier what items are coming in and you may click continue after you reviewed what activities and resources and files are coming into the new course version. You can merge these with the course content that you have now or delete the course content and restore it as just the activities and resources you have. For this I will merge it into the course and select continue. We do not suggest changing this setting and it is typical to leave this as no for any use. This will give you the same options as before. You will be able to review the activities. You can overwrite the course in its entirety if there are similar names or you're restoring it into the same course name. And you may scroll down and compare your files and choose if you wish to bring them over by checking and unchecking them. Select Next. This will confirm again. And scrolling to the bottom, you may select Perform Restore. When reached 100%, you will receive this message and click Continue. And the duplicated items or the additional items that you wish to add will be available in your course. Thank you for watching.